Hello, Hong Kong and Macau. Thank you so much for having me today. It's truly an honor to be here with all of you for the 2022 e-spectacular. As we welcome in this new year, there's no better time to talk about ways to improve your health. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Dr. Lou Ignaro. I've spent my life as a pharmacologist and chemist researching heart health and longevity. For decades, I've conducted scientific research on the human body, focusing on aging and ways to maintain good heart health. In fact, I even discovered a unique molecule called nitric oxide in the arteries and veins. Nitric oxide is also known as NO, and it functions to maintain normal blood pressure and support blood flow to every part of your body. It was this groundbreaking discovery that earned me the most prestigious scientific award. In 1998, I was awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine for my work with nitric oxide. That really laid the foundation for my life's mission, finding ways to support heart health for everyone. It's something I'm very passionate about, as many of you already know. Heart health and longevity are my favorite medical topics to discuss. So during our brief time here together, I will highlight the ways you can support those goals, as well as focus on the following, which I'm going to list for you. The first is health issues caused by an imbalanced diet. We'll talk about our global nutrition philosophy. That will help you understand what to eat and why. I'll tell you the key nutrients that support cardiovascular health, and these include arginine, citrulline, omega-3 fatty acids, and vitamins C, E, and folate. Also, I'll share with you my favorite Herbalife heart health products, and these include Nightworks, Herbalife Line, Mega Garlic Plus, and Krill Shield. And I'll also tell you why we should be taking both Herbalife Line and Krill Shield. I'll make sure you understand the health benefits of having a healthy cardiovascular system. And finally, I'll explain how weight management can support heart health and vice versa. Okay, well, since we have a lot to cover, let's dive right in. First off, I really want you all to understand the very close connection between nutrition and health. Put simply, good nutrition supports good health, but an imbalanced diet can cause all kinds of problems. Did you know that poor nutrition leads to a whole host of chronic diseases and conditions? Cardiovascular disease is just one of them. There are plenty of other harmful effects linked to an unbalanced diet, and these include overweight and obesity, stroke, type two diabetes, cancer, and even deficits in brain function like dementia. Now, other factors also determine an individual's risk for developing cardiovascular disease. For example, hereditary conditions can increase one's risk for cardiovascular disease, but this can be managed to some extent with strict adherence to good nutrition. Fortunately, there are a number of steps you can take right now to improve your overall heart health. The first one is making sure you have good nutrition. That's really something you have control over every single day. And if you aren't getting all the nutrients that you need each day, don't worry, you're not alone. Many of us, including myself, don't meet all of our nutritional goals every single day. So that's where supplements come in. There are plenty of options to help you bridge the gaps in your nutrition. In a little while, I'll share some of my favorites with you. Supplements really are great for balancing your diet. But let me be really clear. Having a healthy diet and living an active lifestyle are the best ways to protect your heart and improve your overall health. 
To stay healthy, your body really needs a balance of foods and supplements with a variety of nutrients like macronutrients, micronutrients, and phytonutrients. At Herbalife Nutrition, we recommend following the global nutrition philosophy, which suggests eating a plant-rich diet. The global nutrition philosophy guides us on what and how much we should be consuming. It's kind of like our roadmap for how to have the best nutrition and lifestyle. These guidelines can help you feel confident in recommending food, supplementation, exercise, and even rest. Essentially, the concept is to eat about 40% healthy carbohydrates, like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, about 30% healthy fats, like fish and fish products, and also 30% healthy protein, such as in soy protein and other kinds of protein. And you may be wondering, why is protein so important? Well, simply put, protein is one of the crucial building blocks of life. It contributes to the maintenance of bones, muscles, and organs. It's the key structural component in the human body, which keeps us upright and moving. Protein supports our muscles as we age. And protein is present in every cell of the human body, your skeletal muscles, all of your major organs, including your heart and your brain, even your circulating blood cells are all made up of protein. So eating protein on a regular basis can help maintain and repair all our organs, especially muscle tissue. If you're not eating enough quality protein, you may be depriving your body of essential amino acids. Proteins are composed of amino acids, about 20 of them. And when you eat protein, the protein is digested in your digestive system to amino acids, which are then absorbed. So if you're depriving yourself of amino acids, that can have a damaging effect on your heart and your long-term health. So to avoid that, and support a healthy, active lifestyle, follow the global nutrition philosophy and make sure your plate has about 30% protein along with 30% healthy fats and 40% good quality carbs. When you balance your diet this way, it's good for your whole body, especially your heart. Good nutrition helps ensure you have the right nutrients to support your cardiovascular health. And the key nutrients to meet these goals include arginine and citrulline, both of which are amino acids. Then we have omega-3 fatty acids. And finally, the vitamins such as vitamin C, E, and folate. So let's start with arginine. So what is arginine and why do we need it? Well, as I said before, arginine, is a key amino acid that helps build body protein and that aids in tissue building and repair. Also very important to remember is that arginine is required for nitric oxide production in your body, especially your arteries and other tissues. When nitric oxide is produced by your arteries, it helps your blood vessels relax in order to maintain normal blood pressure and improve circulation. So arginine is good and required for nitric oxide. Arginine is also involved in a number of different functions in the body. The most important ones include wound healing, helping the kidneys remove waste, maintaining immune and hormone function, and dilating the arteries. And these actions of arginine are attributed to the production of nitric oxide. It's the nitric oxide that produces all of these beneficial effects. Perhaps you've also heard about the benefit that arginine has for the heart. Many studies have shown that nitric oxide levels promoted by arginine can help with some cardiovascular diseases, such as high blood pressure. It's important to make sure you get enough arginine through a healthy, balanced diet. 
Arginine rich foods include fish and meats of all kinds because both fish and meat has protein. Also chicken or poultry, wheat germ, grains, and especially nuts and seeds. They're loaded with arginine as are dairy products, which are rich in protein. So what about citrulline, this other amino acid? This is another important amino acid that you need to have in your body, but you know, it's naturally occurring, which means the body knows how to make it on its own. And it's also found in some delicious fruit like watermelon. Watermelon is rich in citrulline and related melons as well. And in fact, your kidneys take citrulline and they change it into arginine in the body. And then the arginine, of course, is converted to nitric oxide. So citrulline is a great source of nitric oxide. So if we simplify the science, here's what you need to know. Citrulline, like arginine, boosts nitric oxide production in your body. And remember, that helps all your arteries and veins relax and work better, which improves blood flow and maintains normal blood pressure. The good news is that one of my favorite Herbalife Nutrition supplements contains both arginine and citrulline. And of course, that product is Nightworks, which is great for boosting your production of nitric oxide. Another important nutrient for cardiovascular health is the class of omega-3 fatty acids. The heart healthy unsaturated fats that are beneficial for cardiovascular health include, there are several of them, and we should remember them by their abbreviations because their chemical names are too complicated. For example, ALA, that stands for alpha-linoleic acid. EPA, stands for eicosatetraenoic acid. That's not easy to remember or say. And then we have DHA, which is docosahexaenoic acid. That's the most difficult to say. ALA is primarily found in plant-based foods, such as olives, soybean, canola, walnut, and flaxseed oils, but also in the walnuts and flaxseeds themselves. EPA and DHA are primarily found in marine-based foods that include a variety of fatty fish such as tuna, salmon, mackerel, herring, trout, halibut, and cod. Almost all kinds of fish contain EPA and DHA. And all you really have to remember is the phrase omega-3 or omega-3 fatty acids. And please don't forget the importance of vitamins C, E, and folate. Vitamin C is an essential vitamin, which means your body cannot produce it on its own. So therefore, you must get vitamin C from the diet. It's a powerful antioxidant that can strengthen the body's natural defenses. Vitamin C is well known to boost the action of nitric oxide throughout your body. It was one of these findings that led to the Nobel Prize on nitric oxide. Nitric oxide boosts the immune system by protecting cells from free radicals or oxidative stress, which is always around us in one form or another. Oxidative stress has been linked to many chronic diseases. So don't forget your vitamin C. <clears throat> and here's another thing you should not forget. Nightworks contains folate and vitamin C and vitamin E. That's why Nightworks is so effective in boosting your production of nitric oxide. A lot of people think that vitamin C is something to load up on when you're feeling under the weather. But you know, you should take vitamin C every day. Vitamin C can do more than give your immune system a boost. It has also been linked to helping to manage high blood pressure, lowering the risk of heart disease, and protecting memory as you age. And guess how it does this? As I said before, vitamin C boosts your levels of nitric oxide, and it's the nitric oxide that is responsible 
for protecting your arteries, heart, and brain against disease. This water-soluble vitamin is found in all kinds of fruits and vegetables like strawberries, oranges, kiwi, bell peppers especially, broccoli, kale, and spinach. Spinach is very rich in that. <clears throat> Most doctors would tell you it's best to get your vitamin C intake from foods, but many people rely on supplements to meet their daily needs when they cannot have ready access to some of these fruits and vegetables. I want to tell you that vitamin C is the same molecule whether it comes from foods or supplements. Please don't let anybody tell you that natural vitamin C is the only good vitamin C, whereas vitamin C in supplements is not the same. Th these people don't understand chemistry, and so they don't understand that vitamin C is vitamin C is vitamin C, no matter where it comes from. Now, let's talk about vitamin E. <clears throat> Unlike vitamin C, vitamin E is a fat-soluble antioxidant that the American Heart Association has linked to the prevention and treatment of cardiovascular disease. Very important vitamin. This nutrient is also important for your vision, reproduction, and the health of your blood, brain, and skin. However, like vitamin C, vitamin E boosts your levels of nitric oxide, which is responsible for many of the beneficial effects of vitamin E. <clears throat> Foods that are rich in vitamin E include olive oil, almonds and peanuts, and other nuts. You can also get vitamin E from different kinds of meats, also dairy products, and especially leafy greens and fortified cereals. Some studies have linked the consumption of vitamin E to reduced risk of cardiovascular events like coronary artery disease in middle age to older men and women. So vitamin E is very important. Let's move on to folate, which is also important. You might have heard folate referred to as folic acid or vitamin B9. Either way, it has the same benefits for your heart. It's important for red blood cell formation and for healthy cell growth and function. Folate has been shown to lower levels of a specific amino acid in the blood called homocysteine. Perhaps you've heard of it. That's something that can lead to heart disease and blood clots or thrombosis. Research has shown that getting adequate amounts of folate can reduce a person's risk of heart disease and stroke by at least 20%. So folate, again, very important. Of course, if your diet is lacking in any of these nutrients, supplements can help you meet your nutritional goals. Personally, even though I have a balanced diet, I take supplements regularly. In fact, I'm going to introduce you to my favorite ones now. Herbalife Nutrition makes several wonderful products that work to support heart health. One that I'm very proud of is called Nightworks. It was my research on nitric oxide that led to the development of Nightworks at Herbalife. Here's how easy it is to use. Simply stir in two scoops of water, two scoops of Nightworks into a glass of water. You don't have to use just water. You could use tea or juice and just enjoy it. It's just fantastic. And you do that once a day. It comes in lemon flavors. It's so refreshing. Now, even though it's called Nightworks, you can really take it any time of day. You don't have to take it at night. My wife and I like to take our night works in the morning when we have our shakes. In fact, we add it to the shakes. The boost of nitric oxide supports the healthy function of your heart, brain, and other organs. Night works is formulated with arginine and citrulline to help the body create more life supporting nitric oxide. And as I said before, Nightworks also contains vitamins C, 
E, and folate to also help in boosting nitric oxide production. So it's really all about nitric oxide, isn't it? Another favorite of mine is Herbal Lifeline. These soft gel capsules support a healthy cardiovascular system with a specially formulated blend of highly refined marine lipids with high quality omega-3 fatty acids, namely EPA and DHA. Remember that up to 30% of your daily caloric intake should consist of healthy fats like omega-3s. They help maintain healthy cholesterol and triglyceride levels that are already within normal range. Taking DHA regularly also helps to support normal brain function and vision. And these omega-3s even help reduce the risk of developing coronary artery disease. So just take one soft gel with a meal two or three times a day. Now let me tell you about Mega Garlic Plus and Krill Shield. Mega Garlic Plus comes in a tablet form that you take once a day with any meal. Garlic helps support the circulation and heart health and healthy triglyceride and cholesterol levels that are within the normal range. It also has vitamin C, which as you know, provides antioxidant support through nitric oxide. Krill Shield is a great product. Krill Shield can be taken two to three times a day, preferably with meals. These soft gels are specially formulated with omega-3 fatty acids from krill oil and EPA and DHA. These compounds are essential for cardiovascular and joint health. Krill Shield also has a unique blend of herbs. Benefits of taking this supplement include maintaining healthy cholesterol and triglyceride levels and protecting cell membranes against oxidative damage. So why do we need to take both Herbalife line and Krill Shield since they both contain omega-3? Well, that's a good question. So let me explain. They seem to be very similar products as both contain omega-3s, EPA and DHA, but there are some key differences. Krill oil has an, another component or other components, including astaxanthin, which is a powerful antioxidant, and it contains phospholipids. The phospholipids are important because they increase the absorption of omega-3s from Herbalife line. So when you take the two together, the krill oil helps the omega-3 from the Herbalife line to get into the blood. So that's why it's great to take them together. Getting enough healthy fats from these sources will provide the best support for your health. You can never take enough of these omega-3s. By now, it should be obvious what the benefits of having a healthy cardiovascular system are. But because this is so crucial, let's go over it again. There are so many, so you know, where should I begin? The biggest benefits of having a healthy heart include better blood flow, an increase in exercise tolerance and insulin sensitivity, and a reduction in body weight, blood pressure, and cholesterol. So as we discussed, there are a lot of nutritional choices you can make to support heart health. Ideally, those choices come from a balanced diet, which ultimately supports a healthy weight. Weight management supports a healthy heart and vice versa. Maintaining a healthy weight is important because it puts less stress on your heart. Remember, this is an organ that works around the clock for your entire life. It needs all the support it can get to, straight, to stay strong for a long period of time. When it comes to body weight, there's a strong connection to cardiovascular health. Maintaining a normal weight or losing extra pounds, if you have to, does wonders for your heart. 
It helps you avoid the conditions associated with being overweight, such as high blood pressure, and can reduce your risk for developing heart disease. If you have to lose weight, doing it can lower your blood pressure and lower your cholesterol and reduce your risk of diabetes. So definitely watch your weight. Even losing a small amount of extra weight can improve metabolic function and reduce the development of high blood pressure. Staying at a healthy weight can also improve cholesterol and triglyceride levels. And of course, it all works in reverse. Having a healthy heart helps support an active lifestyle. Your heart contributes to the overall function of your body, so protecting it is crucial. It's always working to pump blood and deliver oxygen and nutrients to the brain and all the other vital organs of the body. Good cardiovascular health really supports all activities of life. There are two main ways to keep your heart happy. Good balanced nutrition and plenty of exercise. A healthy, active lifestyle is not just about what you put into your body, it's also how you move your body around. The good thing about exercise is that there isn't just one way to do it. There are so many different types of activities and routines. It's easy to find something you like to do. Just make sure it's fun and that you move consistently and frequently. You can do it alone. You can do it with family members. You can do it with friends. It can get very exciting, actually. And it's also a good idea to try new exercises and mix it up. That keeps life more interesting. Personally, I love to ride my bike and run. When I'm not teaching or working in the lab, you can find me getting some exercise outdoors. I've always been active and I love the way it makes me feel throughout the day. In fact, at the age of 64, I decided to train for my very first marathon, which is 42 kilometers. It was not easy, but I was determined to do it and I was not going to let anything stop me, not even my age of 64. Actually, running my first marathon was the most difficult thing I've ever done. But still, I pushed myself to reach my goals. Not only did I complete that first marathon, but I've run a dozen more since then. Well, now I'm 80 years old, not 64 anymore. So I don't go as far anymore, but I still love to get out for a few miles whenever I can. So you see, it's never too late to try something new. You might find something you love that also helps you improve your health. Many guidelines around the world suggest that you get at least 30 minutes of moderate to vigorous cardiovascular exercise five days a week. Moderate exercise is anything that gets your heart rate up and it may make you sweat a little bit, that's good. During moderate exercise, your breathing will be heavier than normal, of course, but you can still have a reasonable conversation if you're, let's say, running with someone. Once you up the intensity to vigorous exercise, then it becomes more difficult to carry on a conversation, but it's still safe to do and very, very healthy to do. Now, if 30 minutes sounds intimidating, don't worry. You can break it up throughout the day. Try fitting in a couple of 15 minute bouts or even three 10 minute sessions. You may find it easier to commit to these smaller time frames and take advantage of opportunities to fit exercise in. The main thing is just to get moving. And don't forget about strength training. It's essential for building muscle mass and for bone health. You should try to fit this in two or three days a week. If you're new at it, start slow. Instead of starting with weights, body weight exercises like squats and push-ups and sit-ups will help you work your way up to using the heavier weights. And they're fun to do. 
And don't forget to keep track of your progress. It's exciting to see what you can do and it'll help you stay motivated. No matter what type of exercise you do, it's good for your heart when you spend time warming up and cooling down. It only takes a few minutes and it's really worth it. We put a lot of strain and stress on our bodies during exercise, especially our heart, right? So working your way into and out of any activity is the best way to prepare your body. And remember to refuel during and after your workout. It's important to replace the water, the protein, and the electrolytes that you lose during exercise. Getting regular exercise along with eating a healthy, balanced diet will also help you produce and maintain good levels of nitric oxide. That's so important for your heart, as you well know by now. Nitric oxide is really quite amazing. This tiny molecule supports blood flow to your entire body and it keeps your blood vessels flexible. You can nourish your heart health by following the global nutrition philosophy and supplementing with Herbalife Nutrition's amazing heart health products. Now, it's not always about adding things. When it comes to nourishing yourself and building a healthier future, there are always things that you can and should avoid too. For example, cutting back on excess salt and sugar and fat is another great way to protect your heart. Staying away from tobacco and limiting your intake of alcohol certainly helps as well. By making simple changes and being aware of your nutrition and activity, you can really improve the quality of your health, not just for your heart, but for your entire body. It's really that easy. Just be mindful of the ways you can make good choices and commit to a healthy, active lifestyle. You know, I have really enjoyed our time together and I hope you did too. The most important thing I want you all to take away is that good nutrition and regular exercise are the best ways to support your health, heart, and longevity. Thanks for having me, and I hope to see you all again soon, hopefully in person. So Hong Kong and Macau, cheers.